All right, we back. They're doing a live action of Little Mermaid and they with the bullshit, so let's get it in. Oh, yeah, y'all know myself in Charlotte Carolina. Ah. We all know that Disney has cast Halle Bailey as Ariel for their live action remake of Little Mermaid. Obviously, there was a ton of backlash over a black woman getting the part. There was even a petition calling for her to be recast. Now, Disney's cable network, one of their cable networks, Freeform, has clapped back on, uh, I think it was Instagram, and then it was posted yeah. to Twitter as well, uh, and with an open letter to the poor, unfortunate souls who found an issue with Bailey's casting, saying, in part, the character Ariel is a work of fiction. So after all this is said and done, and you still cannot get past the idea of choosing the incredible, sensational, highly talented, gorgeous house. Sally Bailey, it's anything other than inspired casting that it is because she doesn't, quote, look like the cartoon one. Oh boy, do I have some news for you about you. I love wow. that. Wow. And she's like, the lines up there, but it's like, Ariel is Danish, and yes, the first turn up. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like this is a it's this is Danish fairy tale. I mean, first, the idea that, like, a mermaid would have a nationality is such a profoundly stupid idea. Exactly. Anyway, it's a mer it's a mermaid. Yeah, like I love how woke freeform slash Disney is. Are you, are you I was sort of surprised by the strength of that of that statement. I was very surprised by it too. I was like, who wrote this? This person is brilliant. This person is in tune with culture. Like a woke like, twenty four year old like wrote this. It really it, was. They even and the rest of them was like, well, I guess this is what we're going with. They now. used the term zaddy in this post talking about train and i was like oh okay this is cool and then they pointed out the fact that uh, sebastian is jamaican mm -hmm. so like any of these fictional characters can be any race and yeah it's up to I had me a little crush on Ariel, the Little Mermaid. It was just announced today who would be cast as Ariel in Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid. Not only that, but we also know who's going to be Ursula, who's going to be voicing Flounder, and even that kooky bird in the movie. I'm sure opinions are going to be pretty wild, so keep the comment section safe, all right? The Hollywood Reporter has confirmed that Haley Bailey is cast as The Little Mermaid for this movie. She's 19 years old, not really that well-known with other stuff, just some Disney projects here and there. However, The Hollywood reports that her audition knocked it out of the park, being able to capture the innocence, the musical aspect, and everything that they want in this version of Ariel. They also go on to confirm that Ursula will be in fact played by Melissa McCarthy. We were given that news a few days ago. I was kind of thrown off by it. I didn't really see her as playing Ursula, but now the more I think about it, I think she's going to be great. Because her comedic timing is great, and I think when you put all the prosthetics and the crazy makeup on her, she can definitely look like that white-haired octopus lady. As far as Flounder, in this movie, he's going to be voiced by Jacob Tremling, very talented kid in the industry, and Aquafina will be the one to voice this kooky bird. No word yet on who's going to be playing Sebastian. I have to imagine they're going to get someone good, probably another comedian, or maybe just someone with a really wise voice, like a Morgan Freeman type. Part of me thinks in this era of political correctness, they'll probably get rid of the Jamaican accent. Still, though, like I said, I am a fan of movies and the live action Disney thing that has been going on lately, where they're taking all their old cartoons and turning them into live action movies is kind of interesting. Some of these I am super excited for. I get interested when I hear about them. Like Aladdin, super excited for that. And the movie, it was okay. I enjoyed it for what it was. The Lion King is actually one I'm very skeptical about since it's technically still CGI animated characters that just look live action. I'm still pumped to see it and curious how it's going to turn out, but I just don't think it's going to capture that amazing magic that I have when I saw the original Lion King. So this is definitely something I wanted to touch upon and also hear what you guys thought about this, but let's just get the elephant out of the room. People are going to lose their mind when they see the skin color of this girl. I 100% believe that the skin color of Ariel in this movie has little to do with the plot of the actual film. There's nowhere in Ariel's background that says she needs to be a Caucasian white girl, other than the fact that's what she was in the cartoon and you would just want the exact same thing into the movie. It'd be a lot different in the Aladdin movie to get non-Arabian actors to play, well, Arabian characters, like they did with the voice of Aladdin in the cartoon. To me, the thing that's going to make me the most scared of color-wise is her hair. If they do not get the red hair on this girl, then we can riot. Then we can boycott this movie and throw it in the trash. Red hair is important to Ariel. That is the key part of this character. And the reason I have such a huge crush on her. So knowing that this girl can sing, knowing that the audition knocked it out of the park, I have strong faith that she's going to do a great job with the movie. I just really hate that people are going to try and push this thing, that Disney has an agenda, that it's getting woke, 
SJW stuff, that argument doesn't make sense to me in situations like this, because what's their agenda? To make you like people of different color and races? Because, I mean, is that such a bad agenda to have? So getting aside from the casting, the other thing that kind of worries me about this movie is the director. Now, the director of this film is Rob Marshall. Now, he just recently did Mary Poppins Return, which was fun, which was entertaining, but just lacked that magic of the original Mary Poppins. And he was also known for doing the musical Into the Woods, which, uh, was kind of a disaster. At least so, yeah, basically, y'all, this shit is bullshit. They claim this bullshit. And, um, yeah, what I think is true is Melissa McCarthy would be a good Ursula because she's kind of plump. And when they, um, put the makeup on her, she'll fit. But this whole other claim, this one ain't have nothing to say, is just garbage. But anyway. It's your boy, sometimes your girl, Charlotte Carolina. I will snap myself out to exist thoughts. And we go just like not.